Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel and I have a very exciting announcement. probably tell from my Mickey ears they are also Scarlet Witch. I got them on Etsy because Disney hadn't released their like official Scarlet Witch ears yet and I really wanted Scarlet Witch ears when I went on my Disney vacation a few months ago. But anywho I have a really exciting announcement um, if you've seen the title of this video obviously because you clicked on this you kind of know what it is but I got into the DCP which is the Disney College program. I am so excited and nervous but mostly excited just to like well first of all live in Disney who doesn't want to live in Disney meet new people get to work at Disney get to learn so much it's just such an exciting opportunity for me and I wasn't really sure what was coming next and now I know so I just go with the flow because sometimes really good things happen so there is a like a DCP tag um that I was gonna do I don't know who was the original creator of this so if you know that, feel free to comment down below. I've seen a lot of people doing this, so I am going to do the DCP tags. The first question is, how did you hear about the program? So I heard about the program. I had heard whispers of it, but I hadn't like officially heard about it and like actually like seen videos and done research until like a year ago or a few months ago. Um, and when I was in Disney, I was actually looking at the program and I was like, Hmm, maybe I should apply and I actually ended up deciding not to or I don't think they were really doing applications then so more not definitely deciding not to but more just like putting it out of my mind for now and then it came back up again and my sister was like you should actually apply to this and so then I did and the rest is history so I always kind of knew about it but it wasn't until recently that I did like so much research and watched so many videos and just really got like educated about it. I mean, we had kind of all heard about it, I feel like, because there's a lot of, like, DCP vlogs and DCP, like, vloggers that have been around for a while, so I had kind of heard of it in that sense. The second question is, how is the interview process? So, I know a lot of people are wondering about this because their interview process is actually different than it used to be pre-COVID, because I know they stopped the program for a little while, then they got it back up and running, so they actually don't do a phone call interview anymore, as far as I know, or at least I didn't have to do one. Um, they do still do like you apply and then they will email you back at some point um, to do the web-based interview or the WBI. Um, for me, I applied on a Thursday and they got back to me about doing the web-based interview. It was either that day or the next day. Um, and then I did the web-based interview, which is essentially a personality test. Um, you just answer questions. It's not like a Zoom call or anything. You just go on. It's almost like like taking a quiz online about your personality so that they can get a sense of who you are and if you're right for this program and you know if you are right for the program it might help give them an idea of where to put you um that's just my speculation they don't didn't say that but so anywho so then that happens um as far as I, I haven't heard anyone say they've had to do a phone call interview so I'm pretty sure they got rid of those but um it could come back at the time of this video that I'm filming this I think they got rid of them they could reinstate them I could be wrong but I personally did not have to do one um and then they after my web waste interview I believe I completed that on a Thursday or a Friday and then I waited the weekend and on Monday they let me know that I got in um it's different for everyone based on how long it takes. Um, uh, obviously, every candidate's different and everyone's experience is different, but it also depends on when you apply and like how early it is. And then um, I know they do release acceptances like only on Mondays, I think. So obviously, if you are applying like on a Monday, you're gonna have to wait like a whole nother week versus where I just happen to apply like very close to a Monday. Um, so that is the process. Um, and then after that, they will, after the web-based interview, they will, there'll be a screen that will say like, thank you for completing this. I got the screen that said, thank you for completing this, you are a strong candidate. When you get that screen, it pretty much means you're like 95, 98% into the program. Um, obviously that's not an official acceptance, but it is a really positive sign if you happen to get that because it means you are most likely getting in. Um, but anyway, so you'll get one of those screens and then they'll let you know if you get in or not. So then they let me know that I got in and then 
once you get in you have seven days to accept your acceptance and put the deposit down and all that jazz so there's like a bunch of steps after that but they are very good about emailing you and letting you know what to do and laying it out for you so yeah that is the main process um i am not going until march it is currently november and i applied in october so depending on how far away your arrival date is um from when you get in or apply your process might be faster than mine or like slower than mine it really just depends on all of those factors um i personally i don't know if the dates are like available to everyone i mean i know dates fill up so then you can't choose certain arrival dates i could have cho chosen to go in january um there were arrival dates pretty much from like january until april and i believe it's pretty much like that i believe it's january to april and then I don't think they do any in May, but I might be wrong. Any, that's not important, but <laughs> anyways, so they had dates from um, January to April to arrive, and then the departure dates were like, I think May to August, um, mostly August. Um, so you can choose how long you wanna go, like four months, six months. I, mine ends up, mine is technically six months, but it's also kind of more like five because it's like the end of March and the beginning of August. Um, but you can also choose to extend your program if you want to once you're there and you're really loving it. So that is an option option as well. Um, so that's just like a little bit about the process. If you guys want me to make another video like going into more detail about certain aspects of this, like feel free to comment down below. I would not mind making that at all um, and sharing my knowledge to help other people get into the program and just kind of learn more about it. Um, so that was the second question. The third question is where were you when you found out? <laughs> I actually found out on Halloween. Um, I was here because I was celebrating Halloween with my family and I found out that I got in and I was very shocked because I did not expect to hear back so quickly. <laughs> so I really wasn't expecting to get my acceptance um, on Halloween. I also, I didn't know that they only released them on Monday. So I was kind of just assuming like, oh, like maybe in like three weeks, cause I had heard sometimes it takes like a little while to hear back. So I was kind of expecting to hear like in November and then I ended up hearing on Halloween, which is very exciting cause Halloween is my favorite holiday. So it was like a great way to celebrate the holiday. Now the next question is what is your role? And then sub question like preferred roles. So I don't have my role right now. You don't get your role until a month before your program so I will get mine in February but I don't get my specific role I will get like my overarching like category of what I'm working in so I will know in February if I'm working in like attractions or food and beverage or character attendant or photo pass um there's a bunch of other ones but I so I will know that in February and then I will know a week before my program which for me will be March I will know specifically like what park I'm working in where I'm working and get more of the specifics with that so I will obviously be making like an announcement video when I know you guys know and you can see me react to figuring out what it is um but that kind of brings me to preferred roles um if I could work any role I would love to work in attractions um I think that that would be so much fun I would really love to work in like a magic kingdom attraction so like haunted mansion pirates like all of that but then i also would love to work in like star wars attractions as well um which would be amazing really just getting attractions at all would be amazing i'm pretty much okay with any role i just want it to be something like cool like i want to work somewhere where I'm feeling the Disney magic. I don't want to be working somewhere where I just feel like I could be doing this at home. So my, I guess my second choice for roles, it's really attractions is the main one that I'd want to get. But if I got um, like a character attendant, I would love to do that. Um, children's activities would be fine. Like honestly, even if I'm working food and beverage, if I'm working in one of the themed restaurants, that would be really cool. So for me, it's more about like where I'm going to be working in the atmosphere. Like I just want something very Disney to feel the magic um, but my number one role is attractions so I'm very really really hoping to get attractions but we'll see I have a pretty good chance they broke it down in a pie chart and a decent number of people get attractions so fingers crossed that is my preferred role. next question how did you find your roommates how many do you want so I do not have roommates yet I um, just got accepted I'm not going until March um, but I have met people who have my dates and I'm in um, group chats with them. Um, you do that pretty much through Facebook. If you join, like there's a lot of 
DCP groups that you can join to meet people. Um, I would say that's like the most effective way to do it. Um, they also changed the roommate process since they reopened from COVID. Um, you used to be able to choose like all of your roommates, but now you will, or suite mates, whatever you want to um, call it. But now you can only link with one roommate and they they have to have like your same arrival and departure dates. Um, you don't have to link with a roommate. You can just go random. What you do, there's going to be four people in like your apartment, like that will be sharing a kitchen and a living room with you. And then there's three different room types you can get like a two by two, which is like two bedrooms and two bathrooms. So that would be like more of a classic like college style where you have a roommate in the room with you and then two other people have roommates in the room with them and then each pair of roommates shares a bathroom. Then there's also the four by two, which is everyone gets their own room, but you share a bathroom with whoever's on your side. So like the two rooms over here, those people would share a bathroom and the two rooms over there would share a bathroom. Then there's a four by four, which is just four rooms and four bathrooms and everyone gets their own room and everyone gets their own bathroom. So I'm hoping to get a four by two. Okay, so what are you gonna miss well in the program? Um, okay, well, I am obviously going to miss my family, but I'm actually really lucky because my sister just moved down to Florida. Um, so I will actually have family there, which I am so, so grateful for, but I will miss my family that's here. I'm going to miss my friends that are here and I'm going to miss the changing of the seasons. I currently live in New England and I love the changing of the seasons and that's not, as far as I know, that's not really a big thing in Florida. So that's going to be um, a little weird for me because I do like that so much, but, and I'll obviously miss my house <laughs> and my room because I like my room. But um, yeah, so those are the main things. And what's your favorite Disney park? Okay, my favorite Disney park is Magic Kingdom, but my second favorite is Epcot. So yeah. I also, see this is so hard though because my favorite park overall is Magic Kingdom because I think Magic Kingdom is the most magical of the parks because um, it has the castle and Main Street and it's just so magical. Like there really is, it's Magic Kingdom. Like there's no, what else should I say about that? And that, that park has a lot of my favorite rides in it. Um, but I do also love Epcot because of the, I like to go around the world. Um, I think that is a really fun time. And then I love the Star Wars section of Hollywood Studios, but I would say my favorite park overall would be Magic Kingdom. Love Magic Kingdom. First thing you want to do when you get there. God, that is a hard one. It's still so hard for me to believe that like, I can choose what I want to do. I would say that um, once I'm settled and moved in and everything and I have like time off to go do stuff, I think the first thing I want to do, I guess it would be to ride Pirates because my family has a tradition where the first ride we always ride is Pirates of the Caribbean. So the first thing I will probably want to do would be to ride Pirates just like for my family. And then the second thing I'd want to do is just like go to a restaurant and like sit down and get a meal by myself just because I can, you know, like <laughs> that would be um, a way, like one of my options, but it'd be fun to do that in like Epcot or something, like go around the world um, in Epcot. But yeah, that would be the main thing. And then what is number one on your bucket list? Okay, so number one on my Disney bucket list for when I'm going to be there, if I happen to extend, then obviously the holiday parties kind of make their way in the bucket list. But right now, the number one thing on my bucket list, everyone says that you should do all four parks in one day. I don't know if that's possible though, because I know they have been blacking out a lot of dates lately for DCP, like cast members. And I, I don't know exactly how that works. Um, but that would be fun. Everyone says you have to do that. And then I would like to go around the world. Um, I don't think I could drink around the world. I really don't think I'm going to be <laughs> able to do that. But to do something around the world, like, I don't know, go around the world again, like get something from each country, like whether it's like a food or a drink or something, I think to do that in one day would be fun. Because I think when my mom and I went to Epcot, I don't know if we made it to every single country. I can't, I think maybe we skipped like Canada. I can't remember. I don't think we made it to every single country. I think we missed like two countries. So I would like to hit every country and go around the world, whether that's going to be eating around the world or drinking around the world or like, I'm not sure, but I would love to do that at some point during my program. One thing you hope to take away from the program. I 
wow, there's so many things I hope to take away from the program. I just hope that it is an amazing experience filled with wonderful memories that I'll treasure forever and that I meet amazing people that I will also treasure forever and I hope it teaches me a lot of like valuable lessons and I just have a fun time working there and being immersed in the magic. Hopefully it is something I really really like and then maybe I'll get to do it forever so those are kind of my main things that I want to take away from the program um, and that was the last question on the DCP tag. I am so excited for this program. I can't wait. Um, I almost wish I was going sooner, but I have some things to like handle before I pick up and move um, like halfway across the country. <laughs> um, so yeah, so but I'm very excited. That was a DCP tag. Um, I'm going to be making another video when I get my role and stuff. Um, like a reaction video and I'll be making vlogs while I'm there of my experience and my journey. Comment down below any other videos you want to see, if there's anything you want me to talk about um, in more detail, like more about the acceptance process or if you want me to talk about Flamingo Crossings, like what I know about there, or if there's videos you want me to make once I get there, if there's like certain things you want to see, let me know. Comment down below if you are thinking about doing the program if you are currently doing it you've been accepted or if you are just kind of like exploring you might do it at some point i would really love to know and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content i will see you guys on sunday with another video bye there we go